Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Colin, call sign MM0OPX. Um, this video has been a long time in the making, or certainly thinking about. Um, a lot of people have been asking me, and when are you going to be doing this video? So I thought I better get finally get round to actually making it. So, fiberglass supports, really fiberglass poles for amateur radio. Um, what do you need? Um, so, of these four poles, um, I actually own two of each, with the exception of the DX Commander. Um, and I actually paid full price for every one of these poles. So, so a couple of questions you want to uh, ask yourself. What will you be supporting? For example, will you be operating a quarter wave vertical or an inverted L that's got some pressure on the pole? Are you going to want to put a ball on at the top of it? You know, there's lots of considerations. Um, what bands will you be operating on? Um, so obviously, for typically, so for the lower the band, you're going to need the longer the pole. Operating conditions, do you need something for temporary, for SOTA, for POTA? Temporary operating, permanent at home? Um, and then what is your budget? So here's just a couple of examples, excuse me, of the pole, um, of my poles actually. Um, so on the left here, this is the five meter windjammer pole. Uh, and then you can see I've been running this in a just the way format. So I've got the, the top spreader um, plate and arms at the top. Now this weighs approximately 215 grams. Um, so there's a little bit of weight there. Um, but, the, but the pole, it puts up with it. Um, in the middle, we've got the 12 meter spider beam poles. And this day I had them set up. I only had them guide here at this bottom section. And it was really windy. And there was a lot of wind load, but they stood up, uh, stood up great. And on the other side here, here's just um, these verticals and quarter wave verticals. So it's just two quarter wave verticals. So there's really not a lot of pressure on the poles. So the four poles we're going to be looking at is the Windjammer 5 meter, the Life to Breeze Pro Pole 6 meter, the DX Commander Classic 10 meter, and the Spider Beam 12 meter HD. So the Windjammer 5 meter. Um, done some basic stats, so 113 centimetres closed length, 525 grams, quite light. Um, the bottom section wall thickness 1 millimetre as measured by my um, digital verniers and the top wall thickness 0.85. And the cost, well, the last one I purchased a couple of months ago, £15, delivered on the UK from eBay. Great value for money. A couple of pictures, so this is the inside, so it's got nice uniform wall thickness. And what I really like about it is it has this nice um, thick tip. So if you need it for, um, you know, as I use it for my adjusty wave occasionally, it is very good for that. Um, so if you need a pole for 20 metres, as long as you have the feed point low for 20 metres upwards, it's a good pole. So the Pros is very inexpensive. It's lightweight and it's got that large diameter tip. And the Cons, well, this is blank because... Um, I don't know of many cons, um, certainly for the price. So this is the Life's a Breeze Pro Pole, 6 meters. This pole was purchased as a bit of a punt. Um, this company, Life's a Breeze, they do three ranges of poles. And this is their most expensive. So when this arrived, I was like, wow. It was, I was super, super impressed. And if I could compare it to anything, I would compare it to the Spider Beam Pole, but just smaller. So basic stats, 113 centimetres. It's nearly one kilo, so it is a heavy pole. It's got a bottom section wall thickness of 1.43, um, top wall thickness 1.15, and delivered 30 pounds in the UK. So I still find that um, excellent value for money. I mean, on this pole, I linear load it, so I run 40 metres up on this pole. And if I, I could run 40 metres on a heavy duty pole for 30 pounds, um, you know, it's pretty good. So the wall thickness, look at look at this, it's just fantastic. Um, the tip actually has a ring, it's like a little swivel ring, but I cut it off because it was just hindering me getting on my top clamp quickly. Um, and this is just electrical tape where I've just built up the um, diameter slightly, um, just so I could fit the, um, the clamps that I use. So the Pros is moderate, moderately priced, that's it, you know, it's a bit cheap I would say. It's heavy duty, so it's ideal for long-term installation. It's got that large diameter tip. You're able to support structures with it. 
um, you know, you could put a ball on this, no problem. Ball quality, first class, the cons, because of its heavy duty, it is heavy. So it, you may want to think twice um, if you're going to be working portable or walking long distances. So the DX Commander 10 meter classic. Um, so I actually purchased this pole after my spider beam pole. Um, and for some reason, I thought, oh, it'll be comparable to the spider beam pole, but it's not, um, as we'll see later on. Um, but that was me. There's no nothing wrong with the pole. Um, so the closed length is 115 centimetres. Apologies for the weight. Um, it's not in here. Um, so, but it was it was just under 1.3 kilos, which I think is pretty good. 12.98 grams, I think it was. The bottom. What's curious is the bottom section wall thickness and the top section wall thickness, or the sorry, the second top section because it has a solid tip. Now this was actually thinner measured than my life's uh, than my Windjammer five meter, and I thought that was strange, but they're, they're very comparable poles. Um, now the cost it's sixty pounds, so it's fifty pound, and then typically ten pound delivery. So we look at the. Um, construction of the pole um, it's very similar to the and, and you know wall thickness to the the wind jammer um, but this this pole was nice and uniform um, what I don't like about this pole is it's got a thin tip so for my application um, if like if I'm going to run a just a wave in linear load specifically I need to take two to three sections out and um, which then turns it into a seven meter pole well then, I just use my 6 metre pole because I can work 40 metres on that. But if you need a lightweight pole um, that you want to run a wire up it, or indeed you, you buy a DX Commander, the pole is ideal. Um, and what I understand with um, with these poles at Callum, if you have problems with your pole, if you have some thin walls or you break one, um, he will either replace it or you'll get one at half price, something like that. But the customer service is very good as I understand. So the pros, it's lightweight for the size, and the cons, really the only one for me is it's not recommend. you can't use the full height for structure support, um, so just bear that in mind. So the Spider Beam 12 meter HD, um, this is really the um, the Rolls Royce um, of poles, in, in my opinion. I hummed and hawed a hundred, you know, hundred pounds, a hundred pounds of oh, goodness. Um, but now that I have the pole, I don't regret it one bit. Um, so the stats, so it's nearly 1.2 meters long. It's 3.3 kilos. It's a seriously heavy pole. You wouldn't want to do a lot of miles carrying this pole. Um, the bottom wall section thickness, 1.61 and the top section, 1.44. So it's really heavy duty. And again, to get it delivered to me, um, you're talking um, £110. But um, you can buy spare sections. So if you do happen to break a section and you're worried about spending so much money, I wouldn't be too concerned because you can get the sections. You don't have to buy twice. And we look at the construction, it really is first class. It's um, you, could under you could see why this pole is used by so many MD expeditions. Um, on the second slide where I had the example of it being used, I had this guide at the bottom with, go back, this guy ring here, and it was whipping about, it was, you know, I was really getting worried about it, and it held its own. Um, you do get a guy belt, which I have, and you can guide it at the 7th or 8th section, so I'd recommend to do that, but it really is a seriously strong pole. This is actually the second top section. I don't use the top section because I don't need to. But the top section is actually 8mm, but this is actually 12mm um, because it just suits my, my clamps because if I'm linear loading on 80, the, the 11 meter pole is, is fine. So the pros, it is heavy duty. You can support structures at the full height. Um, build quality, absolutely brilliant. The cons, because of the pros, it is expensive. I don't think it's expensive for what it is, but when you compare it, obviously, to another 10 meter pole, it is expensive at twice the price, and it is heavy. You may want to think twice about carrying this long distances. So I have some notable mentions. 
So these are all poll polls that have been recommended to me. Um, um, and I think they're worth, worth a mention. And they're ones that I would certainly be uh, happy enough to recommend. So the Windjammer 10 meter just happens to be the big brother of the Windjammer 5 meter, funnily enough. Um, so this is eBay, and then £34 delivered. That to me seems, you know, really, uh, really good value. So if you're maybe looking at the DX Commander and you're looking at this, you may want to consider this. But keep in mind, you do have that customer service with Callum. Okay. So the Life's a Breeze Pro Pole, 10 metre. Now, unfortunately, uh, Life's a Breeze is out of stock of nearly all of their poles. Um, I'll, I'll put links into the description um, of all these poles. Um, I'm not sure if I said that already, but never, no harm in saying it twice. Um, I have emailed the company and they, they're going to let me know when the poles are back in stock. So when they're back in stock, um, I'll certainly let everyone know. Now this is the little, the little eye I was talking about that I actually cut off. It swivels. So now again, if you compare this to the to the DX Commander, it's ten pounds more expensive. Um, so if you want a, a heavy duty garden pole, I would really consider buying this. But you look at the weight again; it's nearly two point five kilos. Do you really want to be carrying that out to the field? But um, using it at home, um, great. And when, once this comes back into stock, I'm going to buy one of these. Um, and I'm also going to buy um, another two of the six metre pro poles just to have. Because they're that good. Now Peter, who owns and runs DX Wire, this is a first class company. Um, so if you're thinking about buying something from Peter, don't hesitate. Now a few people have mentioned these poles. And he has his own range made. And... The people that have got them, they've told me that they're comparable to the spider beam. So I can't say firsthand, but that's what I'm being told. And um, because I know the quality of Peter's other products, I certainly wouldn't hesitate. Again, there's some of them are not not in stock. Um, but please, you know, keep that in mind. Quite a few people have mentioned this pole. So SOTA beams, SOTA beams do a number of poles. I even think they do a carbon fibre pole, which is meant to be pretty good, six metre. So this one in particular, this seven meter um, uh, heavy duty, you know, it looks like it's got very nice construction, nice thick walls. Now it's seven meters long, but if you look, it's under 60 centimeters in length, packed length. So this is ideal if you want to put it in a suitcase or for the expeditions. So I think once these come back into stock, I'm gonna try and buy one of these. And my thinking is, I can take it, I can throw it in the car um, and I can use it alongside um, one of my adjusted wave antennas, linear load it and that will give me 40 metres on up. So um, one I would recommend again. So what's my recommendations? Well I have to recommend what I already have and 99% of the time I'm using this Life's a Breeze Pro Pole simply because it gives me the ability to work 40 metres and up. The spider beam comes in its own um, when you want to operate 80 metres because I linear load on that too, obviously. Um, but I do have some other projects. Um, I want to try a half wave on 20 metres, in which case this, this pole will, will work well. Um, again, if you buy either of these poles, you really won't be disappointed. So please, if you can afford them, go out and buy them. So what do you think? I'm sure there is polls that I have left off the list. Please leave them in the comments below. Do you have any antenna support related tips? Leave those uh, below. I'd love to read those. Um, so yeah, tell me what you think. And I just want to say, you know, if you've stayed to the end, thanks for watching once again. You know, if you've not subscribed to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit the like button and share the content. Uh, it's very much appreciated. Uh, I do appreciate those regulars coming on and watching my content. Um, so thank you to you all. So until the next video, it's 73.